Yeah, this year's football season was a ton of fun. Uh, we went five and four, which is the most wins Unity football's had since 2011. Really, really great group of guys to work with. We battled some injuries early on and had different guys step up and play positions that they didn't expect to play throughout the season. A few of the highlights, we won a game two to zero, which is not a super common score. Not many people can say they've done that. Freezing cold, um, but that was a lot of fun. And then ending the season with a big win, being able to get a couple of our injured guys who hadn't played all year in to take a final snap as seniors uh, was a lot of fun. The group we had this year was really competitive. Um, it didn't really matter at what where we were at in a game or in the season. They just loved coming out to play and practice and compete, and that made it a ton of fun for us as a group um, and as a team this year. Over the past year of football, we as a team have been given many opportunities to grow. Coach Van Kempen has done a great job of giving us chances to grow both in our football skill and knowledge, but also as men and in our spiritual lives. He has given us chances to grow in our spiritual lives through the devotions that we have had. This year's theme was Full Send, which he related to being all in in all aspects of our life, especially our faith. We saw lots of success on the football field, and that was great to see too. We thank Van Kempen for a great year and all the fans for their support. My favorite memory from this season was getting to cheer at games and interact with the crowd and the other cheerleaders and getting to meet other cheerleaders from other schools. And my favorite memory was all the car rides to far away games. We would blast music and sing along with that was really fun. What I learned was to appreciate different types of personalities, gifts, and talents. And I learned to go out of my comfort zone and not be intimidated by other people as much. One impactful memory on me from the football season was just how well we all bonded together, especially when we were getting ready for games in the dressing rooms, and how we all got along and Cheer wasn't our main focus and that we just could learn about each other and grow through that experience and grow as a team and, through, and bond together. So. Very thankful for our seniors this year. We had five seniors that contributed to our uh, program this year and those were Juliana Ben Grau, Anna Beatlesbacher, uh, Maddie Blankespar, Darby Skideman, and Jocelyn Zonneveld. As we finished the season we had um, a unique thing, we had participants from all four of our classes that were part of our uh, varsity team toward the end of the year. Uh, seniors were Maddie and uh, Darby. Juniors uh, were Elsie Bartles, uh, sophomores Amy DeGroat and Amaya Van Essen, and then freshmen Megan Tacroni and Adriana Van Mana. And they finished the season out running at our um, state qualifying meet. It was a very exciting time uh, to see the girls um, tie for first place and move on to state uh, for that and uh, actually win it on a tiebreaker. Uh, and that was uh, very exciting for us, uh, really emphasized the team aspect of our team. And then we went on to state and finished eighth place at the state meet out of 15 teams. A uh, unique thing about this team this year, they really worked together well. Um, our theme was connected to Christ and we really worked hard at our relationships and trying to establish strong connections between each other and also with um, our relationship with Christ through devotional activities and things that we did. So our theme for the cross country season was connecting through Christ. We learned to build our relationships with not only our teammates, but also some of our opponents. So every meet day we would get together during break and we would hand out encouragement notes that we wrote to a few of our teammates. I always kind of enjoyed receiving those encouragement notes as it gave me a little bit of extra energy that I needed before the race. Something that we tried new this year um, for meets was we handed out Gatorades to a few of our opponents after the race and that was cool because we got to know some girls from different schools and different teams. Another thing that we would do each week was we got together um, and had small groups where we had a time of devotion and prayer. Um, it was a fantastic season. My favorite part was seeing the new leaders develop. Uh, we graduated all the seniors that took a great leadership role last year, um, and we had to have new ones. So underclassmen stood up, uh, stepped up, and new seniors uh, stepped up and, and showed great leadership. I liked the love and care of the team, uh, especially me going through a heart attack and missing a chunk of the middle of the season. Um, it was really awesome to have them show love and care. Uh, my favorite two meets were definitely the conference meet. Uh, where we, Galen Catholic was the favorite going in by far, and we made them scared. They did not know until it was announced 
Uh, and it was fun that we put that much pressure on them uh, at that moment uh, at the conference meet. And at the state qualifying meet, same situation. Four teams were absolutely favored above us. And we tucked in right behind them so much so that they were even questioning whether they were the team or not, and they had to wait for the announcement. Um, for us to step up at those critical times, even though we weren't such an incredibly talented team, uh, was definitely a highlight. I learned from this cross-country season that you have to have lots of perseverance through all the races and the tough moments. Mr. Kimmick did a devotion almost every Saturday. That was one of the really things that shaped my running and spiritual life. This past season, I really grew in getting to know people and meeting new people. Since every year there's new freshmen and there's new people to meet, even at meets, you can meet new people from different teams, so that was a lot of fun. Some of our students at Unity are involved in math competitions, and it's a great way for the students to use their God-given gifts of um, working with numbers, and they're able to solve problems, work together in teams um, to solve these different problems, and it's just a great fun way for them to use those skills and um, to push them further. In the fall, we had some students involved with the Dort Math Challenge and we had some students that did very well. Um, for individual, we had some students that placed in the top three for the individuals and it was Michaela Zylstra as a freshman. Sophomores were Sam Epinga and Casey Ullman and our two seniors that did well were Jocelyn Zonneveld and Devin Boss. And as a team, um, we had the t uh, four person team that did the best at the entire event, and it was a group of sophomores. It was Sam Eppinga, Casey Ullman, Cody Skolton, and Connor Vischer. So at the math competitions, what we do is we go and we'll take first an individual test, and then we take a group test. And it's basically questions that get progressively harder to challenge us to think deeper about mathematical concepts. And then after that, we go to these breakout sessions that you get to sign up for which one, what, and they basically help you go more in depth into different interesting applications to math, whether it's doing an amazing race with math problems or it's figuring out how to solve a murder mystery using math problems. They're really interesting ways to look at unique concepts like infinity or such that help you think deeper. And as a whole, it's shaped me in showing me the greater applications of math and showing me more beauty in God's creation as you can see the applications of math in every little it's a unique aspect that you don't necessarily get to see in the math classroom. Hi, uh, I would say that our 2019 volleyball season was a season of transformation uh, to sum everything up. We started as a very young and experienced team. Uh, we definitely had some high goals set for ourselves. We uh, hoped to be conference champions, which we did achieve, um, but it was a struggle as we went through from week to week and growing and changing our lineups, and uh, in the end, we were playing our best volleyball of the season in the final few weeks, and we were fortunate enough to get through the regional tournaments and qualify for the state tournament, which uh, was just a lot of fun and always a goal to, to head to state. We had some nice individual honors um, as far as some all-conference selections, and some all-state selections, but I would just give these the girls, the team, and the coaches credit for kind of being a team and, that was willing to change and grow and learn and find the best team that we could be throughout the season. This year, the volleyball team really became my second family. Together, we learned the need for encouragement, and we also really focused on building each other up and the power of that. Uh, I hope that when you watched us play, you could see um, our Christ-like attitudes and that we played for the glory of God. So the All-State season starts at the end of July when all the excerpts or chunks of music that people have to learn are released. Um, and that's for band people, choir people, and orchestra people. So everybody involved in that works on the excerpts from end of July until the audition date in October. And it's quite a lot of work. We go to our private teachers and Mrs. Van Beek and Mrs. Smith for help with stuff like that. An intense, long day. I think it was 22 people from Unity tried out, and maybe, I think, nine made it. One impactful memory from Allstate would be our conductor telling us to constantly write what he said into the music that we played. He emphasizes so much, he would stop the whole orchestra for different sections to write down what he said. Normally, I just try to remember everything he says instead of writing it down, so I really took that to heart because it helped me become a better player, and I can carry that on throughout my whole life of music. This year, Unity's cast was larger than 
any other year before. We had 20, 28 students involved and we just had a lot of fun getting together practicing improv games. Um, we also had our big combo night where we did improv and we did our one act. And uh, this year we did um, Flowers for Algernon. Five students were involved in that and it was just an outstanding performance by them. And we hope to take that on to uh, district's uh, speech competition coming up January 25. We also took our cast to some chapels around um, the area and got to show the chapels that we created ourselves this year and just had a great day um, with that. So it was a fun year. Cast is a great community and, well, we all really come together around the improv, but that's not necessarily always the point of it. We just have fun messing around together, and that's part of what improv is. It's just messing around and taking any of the ideas off the top of your head and bouncing them off everyone else around you, and that's really what makes it the community. I think the cast is a really great opportunity for underclassmen. I myself am now a senior and it's sad to be going, but I really appreciate the opportunity to get to know some of the younger people and welcome. Part of the culture of FFA is living to serve. This past summer and fall, our FFA members have been out living that. We started by sponsoring a petting zoo at the Tulip Festival with easily 1,000 visitors. Our greenhouse and High Tunnel produced an estimated 40 grocery bags full of fruit and vegetables that were donated to the Pioneer Home and Atlas. We assisted Town & Country Implement with their open house providing 25 hours of service work. Twice we have helped with the snack pack organization packing 330 backpacks. 250 meals were given out to local farmers with our Feed the Farmer program. We recently held our combine challenge, which raised $3,000 for the Holsuffs and Haiti. This is our FFA way of being servant workers and creation caretakers.